Fig 260 in green of your choice. And inflate to a tail of just a couple of fingers or so. Just let a little bit of air out to soften and then tie. If you need help tying, practicing your tying technique, I have a video for that. I'll leave that in the link in the description. And you want to make a loop of about four fingers or so and pass that neck and nozzle through. If you've been following my beginner twisting series, you'll know how to do this. So we're skipping through this and another loop of four fingers. Give your balloon a squeeze so you're sending the air to the end of the balloon. And then a third loop of four fingers. Okay? If they aren't uh, exactly even, your loops, don't worry. It's um, not critical, but that's what you end up with. Take a 160, I'm using pink and I'm going to inflate that. And as is usual for me, I inflate these 160s with the um, hand pump rather than the pocket pump. And that is because, and that was about four strokes of the hand pump and tie. And that's because I find it quicker and easier, uh, but I also find that the pocket pump uh, because you're having to uh, use more strokes, you sometimes get little bands along the balloon so you can see, you know, uh, the, um, the strokes. And I, I find it's smoother this way, so I prefer it. And just wrap that knot and nozzle in there, okay? Next, we want to make bubbles of about four to, four to five fingers. So about, yeah, about four or five fingers. So twist off a bubble and then we want to make another bubble that's about four or five and make a third bubble of about four or five fingers okay and then we want to make a fourth one make sure you're, you're hanging on to them all and then a fifth bubble okay so you've got a row of five, four to five finger bubbles and just wrap that into your um, cluster of leaves here. So just wrap that in. So that secures your bubbles together. So those bubbles are now not going to unravel. Give your balloon a little squeeze and then we want to repeat this. So make another bubble of about five fingers and if you want to you can measure that off against these bubbles here okay and then make another bubble of about five fingers a third bubble of about five fingers okay so that's what you've got a fourth bubble of about five fingers in fact, that last one looks a little bit small to me. I'm just going to make that one a little bit longer, just slightly, fractionally. And make a fourth one. And then make a fifth one. So again, we've got our string of five bubbles, okay? And wrap those into the neck there, into the cluster of three loops and we've done that we can break off the end cut it off and tie and then just wrap that around a few times that excess and then you can cut off the excess so this is what you've got and what I want you to do next is count to the second bubble so we've got one bubble two bubbles and the same on this side and twist those two bubbles together a few times okay skip the next pair of bubbles and go to this bubble here Oops. and twist these together okay so what you're doing you are twisting together this pair and this pair okay if you try to twist together 
each set you will just unravel them and they won't stick together so it's only this pair and this pair that you need to stick to, uh, twist together. I'm using a chopstick and a white five inch round and I'm going to put a smiley face print balloon over the top and the reason I am putting a white balloon inside is that these smiley face print balloons that I've got they're a, what we call a dual tone um, so they're, they're quite um, transparent so or semi-transparent and you know you can in fact I will show you what I mean so I inflate one of these so you, you can see through to the other side quite a bit, you know, through the colour. But to be perfectly honest, I don't particularly care for the colours uh, of these balloons. So I like to put white inside and I find it just um, gives it a nicer colour. And then inflate, okay. So instead of quite a harsh red, you end up with quite a fun um, hot pink. Uh, instead okay so you just want to make sure that your um, face will fit inside the space that you've made and then tie and use the inner balloon the white balloon to just tie okay and then take that neck and that knot and wrap it so what I've done is I've pulled that knot and nozzle through the other side so I'm wrapping that in tightly into that cluster of three okay. and then I'm just going to arrange everything and bring that um, these flower petals over the top of the smiley face move the smiley face around so you can see it and then just adjust everything print is uh, double sided so you get it on both sides and these are really fun to play around with um, I if you don't have the smiley face print five inch rounds I don't recommend you go and buy them you can make your own just you know use a couple of ordinary balloons to get a nice color if you're wanting to double stuff or just use a single balloon and draw use a white edding um, 750 paint pen and draw the face yourself, you'll get just as good an effect. Take your flower stems and a 160 and just wrap that 160 around the stems, not too tightly, and just tie that into a knot, tie that on there. We can trim off the end. And then I've got a 160 with barely a one finger tail and I'm just going to twist off a little bubble that is perhaps about six fingers, seven fingers maybe and then make a loop, okay? So I want a loop that is going to be the right kind of size for my bouquet so that's perhaps another six fingers or so, six or seven fingers in the uh, in length and make another loop to match this one. Twist those together. Okay, and then we're going to make a pinch twist. So twist off a small bubble. Okay, and then take hold of it, pull it upwards, twist it around and there you've got a pinch twist and then you might just want to take this balloon and wrap it around a little bit okay so that's what we've got give your balloon a squeeze and a stretch position your bow here and then just wrap in the tail here the bubbles you will see that this part of the bow is much too long so I just need to measure that off against this other tail here 
and then snip off the end. Okay, so I'm just putting a little hole in there, letting the air out, and then just tying that, okay? And what I will do, I'm just going to trim off the excess. So I'm just going to trim off the nozzle from that one, Oops. and the excess from this one and then we can just arrange our flower stems if you want to you can discard this 160 here uh, but if you can't see it and uh, it's not uh, noticeable it's just holding helping hold everything together and keep your bow nice you want to square off the um, sides of the bow then that's your choice I have got a bow making tutorial, so I'll leave that in the description, a link to that in the description as well. But then you've got a really fun smiley face flower bouquet. I'll see you again in the next video.